That was odd. So Poor Things is a black comedy film directed by Yorgos Lathamos in which we follow a character named Bella Baxter portrayed by Emma Stone, a girl who has been brought back to life by a scientist portrayed by Willem Dafoe. And when Bella Baxter meets a slick lawyer portrayed by Mark Ruffalo, the two of them run off on, let's just say, a hell of an adventure. Alrighty guys, so let's get into Poor Things. Excellent! Poor Things looked like a combination of Frankenstein with a coming-of-age film meets the colors of production design, let's say, Willy Wonka with this bonkers and over-the-top feel. I'm actually a fan of Yorgos Lathamos as a director. I mean, I loved Killing of a Sacred Deer and The Favorite is a movie that I really like, but I wished I did love that film. Yorgos is a director that I think has won of the most creative and one of the most unusual voices in Hollywood. Poor Things has things that I enjoyed about it, but I do have more to say. There are two performances in this movie that I really, really liked, and one of them that I absolutely loved. Willem Dafoe, I thought, did a terrific job playing this scientist and this doctor that has this really nice relationship with Emma Stone's Bella Basher, although he has this... Let's just call it a quirk to him that every time I saw it, I was just... Willem Dafoe, I thought, was terrific in this film. But let's be real here, guys. One of the stars of the show is easily Emma Stone as Bella Baxter. Emma Stone gives, without a doubt, a brave and a courageous performance in this movie as she does things in this movie that I imagine takes a lot of trust for an actress and a director. Something I absolutely about Emma Stone's portrayal of this character is really seeing her taking that mentality of that character and really, really going for it. I mean, there are sequences in this movie to which she... <laughs> To say that she goes for it is kind of a huge understatement. Easily see Emma Stone being nominated for Best Actress at the Oscars next year. The cinematographer of this movie is just straight up beautiful. Imagine if Yorgos kind of brought the production design and the costumes and the colors of, let's say, like a Willy Wonka movie and brought it into this really twisted world. The color palette, the costume design, the cinematography for the most part, I'd say like 90% of the time, looked absolutely stunning. Just screams not only style, but imagination and creativity. It just screams it all. It really, really does. One of my favorite things about this movie were the title cards where it shows them going into certain in chapters of this movie and again these title cards legit every time i saw them i just went okay that's really really cool there were moments that legitimately had me laughing so much harder than i expected one moment with emma stone and this dining hall she says a line of dialogue <laughs> I was not expecting for this line of dialogue to be said and just the way how she's preparing herself to do this thing had me really laughing hard well that's just Fucking great! The last time I checked, I could be completely wrong, but guys, Poor Things is at a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes, so going to this movie, I was expecting one of the best films of the year. Unfortunately for me, Poor Things doesn't come close to being regarded, at least in that, at least in my personal opinion. I wasn't a fan of poor things. There are performances in this movie to which I'm going to say a phrase. I'm going to keep saying this. I could fully understand what they were going for in this movie, but a lot of the time what they were doing just did not come with me. There were some bits that I just thought were just not only over the top, but weird and just straight up odd. There was a part in this movie that just really put me off. Poor things is a movie that definitely has a certain wavelength. And if you can get on that wavelength, I think you're going to be on one hell of a bonkers field ride. But personally, for me, I could just never get on that film's wavelength. This is definitely one of my biggest cons in the movie, and that is the directing. Your Girls Love the Most most certainly directs the crap out of this movie. But at least to me, and I completely understand why some people are 
absolutely love this. As a matter of fact, I do understand why some people are loving this movie because I get what this movie was going for, absolutely. Yorgos Lazimos direction, at least to me, was very, very style over substance. I completely got what this film was going for in terms of the storytelling, in terms of the actual tone this movie was going for. But once again, Yorgos' directing just got to a point where for me, it just felt like he was just showing off how creepy and how magic you possibly get without having a story with an actual emotional core at center. Imagine as if you're walking through this art gallery curated by a painter that is very, very well known, and you're seeing these really cool images that have beautiful, I mean, colors that just balanced with incredible production everything is just right there but unfortunately while you're seeing these really cool paintings these really cool sculptures that has a lot of style to them when you look really really close into the actual substance of what these paintings actually mean it's as if you're not finding anything that really just speaks to you every time i saw a trailer of this movie it looked like it would just be a wild bonkers right with this really emotional story of a girl that was not only learning about this world around her but also learning about her body and her brain and fortunately for me none of that connected for me i don't get why yorgos lathamos does this at least in my personal opinion yorgos will have shots in this movie where he just puts fisheye lenses the fish eyes in this movie just were distracting. There were these other shots in this movie where it has this vignette that has this look to them where the shot looks cool itself, but it has this vignette that goes into the circle-like shape. And again, like the fisheye, these lenses were just really distracting. This is a movie that at least for my eyes screams so much style, but really not a lot of substance. While this movie was bonkers and all the time and wild, and don't get me wrong when I say this to you guys, I could believe God that that was what they were going for, absolutely, but it just never worked for me and it never got me connected on the emotional level I was hoping for. And here we go. So overall, I really, really wish that I was joining the chorus praising poor things. But while Emma Stone is terrific and this movie looks amazing, unfortunately, not only did I find poor things to be a case of style over substance, but I just could not connect with this movie. All in all, I'm going to give poor things a 2 out of 5. If you guys out there that are watching this video love this movie, I'm really happy that you connected with this movie, but personally for me, I found this movie to be kind of overrated. So comment down below and let me know. Have you guys seen Poor Things? What did you think about it? Let me know below. If you guys want to follow me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and I'm also on Twitch. So if you guys want to follow me on all those social media platforms, all the links and the usernames are in the description below. I hope you enjoyed my review of Poor Things. If so, please hit that like button, also subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell for my latest review goes live. If you guys want to see my previous two reviews, please click it right there or right there. And of course, until my next review or video goes live. I will see you all next time.